was such a really tough one to take right at the end. Can you sum up your emotions at the moment? Good, good, good for the players, good for the supporters, good for the club. You know, we've been in a, in a sticky sort of vein of form really and you know, they've worked terribly hard last week and today they've worked the socks off. Um, I don't think we deserved it, you know, to tell the two halves. Um, first half, we've had an, enough opportunities, we've played some really good football um, in total control of the game, spoke about it at half-time, players were all on board. Um, second half, we knew what was going to be, it was a battle, I thought we stood up to it. It's, I, know, I mean, both players, you know, they have 15, well, they have 100 strikes at goal and, and they don't put the ball where, where it went for both goals. Um, so, while it's, it's frustrating, you know, you, you've got to try and take some positives away from, from it all. Um, you know, the, the attitude of the players, again, they've worked hard, you can see that, uh, they virtually crawled off the pitch a good good handful of them you know got a couple of niggles and knocks there's lad play, lads played through knocks wanted to stay on um, so you, you can't question that and um, again uh, is it luck it, it's got to be but you know we just need to keep going and we need that one to go off a backside in the back of the net mark it's a, it's a performance that should give encouragement though as you say you come to a side who've won I think three out of the last four in the league the, the flying here particularly on home surface but you did you controlled that game in the first half and as you say even before we went 1-0 up we could have been in front a number of times yeah exactly we've had three or four probably got into real good areas it's just the, the execution of that final pass or that final decision um, that let we down first half but I mean like you say 2,700 here today the, you know the the very vocal, you know, the drums going, and it's a it's a real nice atmosphere for them. And I don't think there'll be many teams come here and, and give an account of themselves that we have there today. You know, we've, we've got to take that test, that, that credit away, and we've got to take that positivity. And um, for two exciting and challenging games coming up now um, after Christmas. And Levy with a powerful header from a from a good corner. You know, you know, he enjoyed that one, didn't he? Yeah, he, he deserves it. You know, let Levy's you know form's been up and down a little bit. You know, we've had conversations with him about it, and I think certainly the last two. Well, the last two weeks I've been back in um, you know, I'm pleased with what he's done and how he's performed um, he's defended well and arguably I mean, it's nice to actually score from set piece as well we probably don't score enough from them for the amount of work that we do, do on them great delivery from Mark Anderson as well um, movement was good and, and a great header from Levy but like we said you know, there's been half chances here and great areas and that one final pass or you know, that, that final decision of where to pass or how to pass it's let me down and when you've made a long journey like today, the last thing you want, isn't it? You know, when you're approaching in injury time, you must have thought, "Come on, we're in touching distance here." Yeah. To have it ripped away in them sort of circumstances yeah. is really hard. That, that was the frustration. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. Like two minutes in the first half, and then seven in the second. But I think they were pretty evenly contested. I don't know where the, the seven minutes has come from, if I'm honest. Um, and the referee, obviously, the referee hasn't spoken about it yet with me. But um, you know, again, clutching the straws a little bit here. It's just a, a sucker punch. And, one, one we don't deserve, but it, it's happened. To, you know, we've got to dust ourselves down and get on with it. I think what's telling is the reaction from the fans. Forty-three yeah. of them, by the way. Yeah. What, what an effort that is! Two days before Christmas, their reaction at the end tells you a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's brilliant for the league to put this fixture on two days before Christmas <laughs> to send with sort of five hours down the road. Um, <coughs> but again, we've prepared properly. We've done it right. The supporters, each and every one of them, have been superb. You know, they've been loud. Um, they support the club through thick and thin. Um, I'd like to think that they see the ones that do turn up week in week out. They do see what the, what the players put in, and you know, and you know, the players are hurting, the fans are hurting, and we'll sort it out and we'll get going. Now back to home surface. The double header against Charlie starts at the yeah. Brewery Field on yeah. Boxing Day. How much are you looking forward to it already? Yeah, very much so. Well, I mean, it, you know, like I said, I'd rather be in in games games coming thick and fast than you know spending a week training or you know, a week dissecting things and overthinking things. We, we just you know. We'll get back on the horse and we'll keep going. Um, there's, there's too much quality in there. You know, you, you look at it, there's, there's too much quality. We showed that first half. Um, maybe we just need to tweak one or two things and just freshen a few things up here and there. But it's all in hand and there's a plan in place to do things and, and the support is is really, really appreciated. And like, like I say, you know, a little bit of luck and everybody gets the rewards in the next couple of games.